Does your face cream have the potential to give you cancer? Or does the Teflon non-stick pan that you made that delicious omelette on this morning have the potential to inflict cancer? Don't be surprised because this might just be the case. Today we'll be discussing about carcinogens. These are substances which can potentially cause cancer. So according to a study, everyday products that you use can have carcinogens and you must be aware about these carcinogens. Products that we depend on every single day and use every day contain harmful chemicals that could cause cancer. Let's first talk about cosmetics. Face creams and makeup products have certain chemicals that could be cancer causing. Formaldehyde is one such carcinogen. It's used in products like keratin. Keratin hair straighteners which many of us have used to settle down that frizzy hair that bothers us so much. Also, nail polish, eyeshadow polish and mascaras. Formaldehyde is also used in these products and it's used as a preservative. Prolonged exposure to this leads to cancer along with short-term symptoms like irritation in the eyes, throat and the respiratory system. Let's now take a look at your kitchen. You might not realize, but your kitchen could actually be a cancer factory. From the Teflon coated pans to cellophane wrap, even aluminium wraps could contain cancer causing harmful chemicals. Non stick cookware, for instance, has got this particular acid. Per fluorooctanoic acid. These are used to make your Teflon coated and non stick utensil. Although this is not found when you use, but if you, if you keep reusing, overheating, and if you scratch the protective layer, this POFA can be released and this can potentially cause cancer. It's used in preparing Teflon coated pans and is responsible for causing many kinds of cancers. It includes testicular, ovarian and kidney related cancers. The refined oil we use also has its own history. During its production chemicals like hexane and bleach are used in it. Also it undergoes hydrogenation to gain the desired consistency. The process leads to the formation of trans fats in the oil. The presence of trans fats puts the consumer at the risk of getting cancers of the colon or breast. All of these items that we've been using every day over the recent few years or so are linked to some chemical or the other which is cancer causing. That's the reason why Researchers are drawing a link between the choices that we're making in a modern lifestyle and the increase in cancers in the younger population because of these new things we've been using. You'll be interested to know that cancer is going to double in another next 15 years according to who? According to the World Health Organization, cancer cases in the overall population is expected to rise by 77% by the year 2015. There is an increase in early onset of cancer in the populations between 25 to 29 by 22 percent. The figures are between 1990 to 2019. The reason behind this increase is the changes in lifestyle prevailing today. Millennials owing to their exposure to harmful chemicals and the diet, the changing diet, are becoming more and more prone to cancer. Highly processed foods coupled with consumption of alcohol and sugar are factors that contribute to this problem, which obviously leads to obesity. Obesity is directly linked to increase in cancer. We know that habits like smoking tobacco and eating foods that are smoked or burnt are also responsible for this. Solutions to curb this trend are many, but what's most important is to identify hidden carcinogens. For example, checking cosmetics used largely by the younger population for harmful chemicals and checking their dates of expiry is extremely important. Also, think twice before using non-stick cookware given the risk it involves. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.